welcome back students hope you all have gone through the earlier video it is all about the weightage of marks and I have also posted a video on j and q h drawing sheet which you are going to provide for you on the end examination please go through it and there was also a video on how to score better marks even in engineering graphics a video is posted for you all please go and watch it and to score a very good marks in this video i would like to let you all know that how the questions will be asked if the question one is from the unit one as we were discussed in the earlier video as well as the uh, the gunshot questions video i told that the scale question is a sure question and damn sure question in your paper many students were asked me that how to identify whether the given scale is a plane scale or a diagonal scale dear students if there are only two units if there are only two units in the question it is said to be a plane scale a plane scale is a scale which can read to the maximum of only two units and the consecutive units a clear lengthy video is being uploaded on scales please kindly go through it and the next thing is a scale which can read up to or the maximum of three three units it is said to be a diagonal scale it is said to be a diagonal scale dear students around four to five lecture videos were done on both the plane scale as well as the diagonal scale if you go through those questions you are going to get in that form and in that model those questions which I have posted along with the neat explanation what are the things need to be done when a scale is given the first and foremost thing is that you need to identify whether it belongs to a plane scale or a diagonal scale once the identification is done the first and foremost thing is that whether the rf is given or not in the question paper if not you are supposed to work out rf based on the expression or the definition of this that length of the drawing the given question will be having certain length of the drawing as well as what is the actual actual length of the drawing what is the actual length of the drawing if it is given in terms of length if it is given in terms of areas that becomes area instead of length and if it is a terms of volume it becomes the volume of the drawing by actual volume of the drawing or the model this is how you are supposed to convert these two into the similar units and work out the rf once the rf is done in the question they will be giving you that the scale is going to measure the maximum distance or the term like long enough to measure or the term like long enough to measure indication will be there you are supposed to identify that what is long enough to measure the scale which is given for you is to measure certain distance in form of meters in form of yards or in form of feet kindly check that and go through the videos i have explained very clear how to identify the maximum distance or the long enough to measure and converting that into the centimeter by using the formula length of the scale the third one you need to work out for any type of scale is the length of the scale how to work out the length of the scale dear students is it is all about the representative factor or the scale factor sometimes this is also called as into the maximum distance into the maximum distance if rf is given direct you are going to substitute that one upon something 200 or 300 and the maximum distance is given in 9 meter for example that need to be converted into either centimeter or millimeter dear students this is what we are going to plot on our drawing sheet isn't it this is what this distance is nothing but the length of the scale which we are supposed to calculate either in centimeter or in millimeter only dear students later once the length of the scale is done make sure that what are the different units given in the problem to work out the scale whether it is a plane scale or a diagonal scale it is a combination of meter decimeter or centimeter it is said to be a diagonal scale or if it is given only meter and decimeter it is said to be a plane scale 
I have done formula I have done videos based on these things please kindly watch which are being posted in form of diagonal scale as well as a plane scale two different playlists which are there in my channel later once you are done with the units kindly go with the marking distance kindly go with the marking distance also dear students so if the marking distance is like 3.2 meter you could able to understand that this is all about the plane scale only dear students if certain units are missing in the question a plane scale is not given there may be sometimes the indirect question like construct a scale for rf equals to 1 is to 20 and which can read up to 8 meter mark a marking distance of 3.2 and 6.9 meter on it by looking at the marking distance also we could be able to recognize it is all about 3.2 it is about 3 i mean this is can be written as 3 meter plus 0 0.2 meter if you look here there are only two numbers i mean i can understand that this is the main unit and this is the secondary unit by looking at the marking distance also you can identify whether it belongs to a plane scale or a diagonal scale for example there is a marking distance like 33.9 meter and it is not given in the problem whether it is a plane scale or diagonal scale you could be able to read the marking distance this marking distance can be written as 30 plus 3 plus and 0 0.9 meter isn't it dear students 30 meter 3 meter and 0 0.9 meter this can be written in terms of 30 meter getting and this is 3 meter is nothing but here can be written as on the scale of 3 decimeter I mean 3.9 and this can be written as 9 centimeter getting this can be written as 9 centimeter so by this you can write that it belongs to a diagonal scale this is how you are supposed to work out when the problems are related to a scale concept next is all about the cycloidal curves how cycloidal curves will be asked i am going to let you know if a cycloid question is asked there will be given that the diameter or the radius of the circle as well as it is going to roll on a flat surface for example if it is given that it is going to move on a fixed line or the flat surface it is said to be a general method dear students it is said to be a general method or how the question will be framed if the general cycloid is given a circle of dia 40 or 50 rolls on the circumference of the circle for one complete revolution without slipping on a fixed straight line the terms like without slipping if it is asked the terms like without slipping the terms like without slipping and one complete revolution and one complete revolution if such times are given in the problem it belongs directly to a cycloidal curve but how to identify whether it is a general method or the epicycloid or the hypocycloid there are certain terms to be keep in brain that you can able to understand it belongs to what if it is a general cycloid they'll be asking you only one radius i mean the one diameter itself in the problem if it is epicycloid and hypocycloid there will be two radiuses or two diameters provide one is for the generating circle and one is for the directing circle getting dear students the bigger circle will be given and the smaller circle radius also will be given so what is a bigger circle called here the bigger circle is called as the directing circle get it and the smaller circle which is going to move upon the circumference of another circle is called as generating circle the question will be like this for this problem if it is epicycloid a circle of dia 50 or 60 rolls upon the circle of sir on the another circle for one complete revolution without slipping such type of curve is called as epicycloid and sometimes the term like concave side of the circle a circle is moving to a concave side of the circle 
so it is again cave is nothing but it is nothing but a happy cycloid hope you are getting clear the concept now you are supposed to walk out in the tangent and normal also for all the three concepts i have uploaded a clear video on how to construct a epi hypo as well as the general method in my channel please go through it and learn please do practice along with the instrument so that it may help you on the day of exam now coming to the hypocycloid they are going to give a circle of diaphy 150 which is of a directing circle where the another circle of diameter or the radius 480 is going to roll within the another circle for one complete revolution without slipping this is an anti-clockwise direction so the question will be that it moves inside the another circle here it is outside on the circumference of another circle and the thing here is they may be asking you the circle is going to move the convex side of the another circle the terms like convex is related to all about the hypocycloid make sure to work out all these three problems along with the instruments so that this may help you all it's all because it's conic sections as well as cycloids and the scales from these three concepts you are going to get for sure any two concepts dear students i cannot give you a hundred percent assurance that a conic section only will be coming in the exam that may that is of odd category if you look at the unit one it is all about the conic sections as well as the scales and as well as the cycloids make sure to work out for scales then the cycloids in the next video i am going to let you all know the conic section the concepts and how the questions will be asked it is too lengthy in its structure there are various methods also they are going to ask for more videos, please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this content with your friends as well as do concentrate on the playlist and work out all the problems along with me for the coming examinations. Hope you will do that and do not forget to share with your friends. If you are looking for any other thing, please do put it in the comment section. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.